Opening round of the Division III playoffs for Josh McLeod and the Cardinals, taking on the leading receiver in the nation in Michael Zwiefel and the University of Dubuque Spartans. Scoreless midway through the first quarter, Tyler Dickin hands off to Nick Kukoc, who avoids the ref and the Spartan D all the way down to the four yard line. Next play, Dickin running the option right, he'd keep it himself and find the hole into the end zone to give the Cardinals an early 7-0 lead. But Matt Hannes and the Spartans strike back as Hannes finds his main target, Zwiefel, in the middle for a 19-yard gain to the 46. Facing a fourth and six, Hannes rolls left and finds Zwiefel again for the first down to the Cardinal 27. Again, the Spartans going forward on fourth down, and the gamble pays off as Hannes steps up in the pocket and hits Zwiefel, who takes care of the rest and goes in for the 21-yard score to even the game at seven after a quarter of play. In the second quarter, Jordan Tassio taking the snap, but doesn't keep it for long as he pitches to Nick Kukoc, who stops on a dime and takes it 13 yards to the Spartan 31. Two plays later, Tassio keeps it himself for the 13-yard run to move the Cardinals into the red zone. And he would finish the drive on the next play with a score from six yards out and the Cardinals back ahead 14 to seven. But Tassio and the Cardinal offense wasn't done yet. Very next drive, Tassio taking it right through the heart of the Spartan defense and over Zwiefel to go in for the 34-yard touchdown run and the Cardinals get some breathing room, now up 21-7. Cardinals special teams making a difference too as they almost get a hand on the punt. Spartans get it away but Joe Antonacci there to field it at the 30. He makes a number of tacklers miss and goes all the way to the Cardinals sideline and turns it up field before he's finally run out after a 30 yard return with 12 seconds remaining. Dickin tries to get the Cardinals in field goal range and he does as he finds by Kaba for the 15 yard catch who runs out of bounds. That leaves enough time for Nick Dace to hit a 41-yard field goal as time expires to give the Cardinals a 24-7 halftime lead. The opening drive for the Spartans in the second half would go nowhere thanks to the defensive line as Peter Bulander and Valente Garza chase down Hannes for the sack. Willie Hayes says that looked like fun, so I'll give it a try, and he does as he gets around the edge and puts Hannes on his back to force the three and out, and the Cardinals would take over and add another score. But the sack attack wasn't done yet, Next possession for the Spartans, Hannes steps up in the pocket and James Robinson right there to make sure he goes nowhere. Very next play, it's Alex Tripp who chases down Hannes for one of eight sacks on the day for the Cardinals and the Spartans force the punt. But Steve Jones can't handle the snap as it goes right through his hands and he's forced to fall on it and the Cardinals take over three yards away from the end zone. Nick Kukoc would only need one play to find the end zone as the Cardinals score seven rushing touchdowns and roll through the first round with a 59-13 victory over the Spartans. The offensive line did a great job opening up holes, and like Nick said, we just, we just got to make them right, and uh, the offensive line did a phenomenal job, the coaches put us in the right position in the right formations and the play calls. We worked the uh, inside zone, outside zone a lot, and we have trying to perfect it, and you know, these guys are just making us right. We just get hat on hat, and running backs here will make their cuts and just make us look good, so that's all we're trying to do. But I think the biggest turning point in that game was the second quarter with the wind when they were able to work the ball and we were not able to do much against the wind. It ended up being a bigger factor than I thought it would be. I know I've been in this rodeo a couple times before and they have a team good enough to win the national championship, without a doubt. They are good enough to win the national championship. I mean, we knew they had good wide receivers and the less time the quarterback had in the pocket, it was harder to find them, so I mean, just getting that pressure and helping the back seven was huge. And like when they were guarding them well, we had more time to get the quarterback, so it just hand in hand worked. It's always easier when those guys get sacks, you know. They make everything happen, and then the more pressure they can get, the easier it is on us. The sense we just we don't want to let them on the scoreboard at any time. And no matter if we're up 100 to zero or 100 to 100, you know, I mean, we just don't want to let them get in the end zone. And if they do, we just gotta come back the next time. So. And with the win, the Cardinals move to the second round of the playoffs with a face-off against Wabash College from Indiana. Site of the game still yet to be determined.